devotees have asked me about the meaning of the third stroke um uh how to meditate deeply on the third stroke uh, i'll tell you some tips on the some spurtis i get while meditating on the third stroke and uh, that is uh the first and second the first stroke nitai approaches the house of the 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 soul and uh, the the um, the second stroke the the soul opens the door and accepts nitai's mercy the third stroke is nitai uh, uh, goes away from the house and it's like a distance you know first second and the third is at a distance so nitai goes to the next house but the meaning of the third stroke is that nitai has not forgotten that soul whom he has given his love to in the first and second even though he is going to another house and approaching you know his his uh, his uh, uh, side glance his merciful kripa drishti uh, um he is still remembering that soul sometimes i see in the third stroke uh, nitai actually discussing with his associates as he is moving to another house to deliver uh, that soul how fortunate he is uh, how much nitai cares and loves him and his whole family have got love due to him and nitai thinks about him how to engage him or her uh, in in the in service um of god krishna so nitai is like discussing with uh, his associates that is his kripa drishti the third stroke you know um, and then the fourth stroke is actually his his instruction on what he has um, meditated on about the soul and how to help him how to engage that soul uh, so uh Mm, the, the the fourth stroke is uh, reveals everything how to go to the next level <laughs> that I, as i said you know the ato shraddha tatha sadhu sang bhajan kriya anartha nivrutti ta stands for nishtha ruchi asakti and e stands for bhav and prem महाप्रेक्षिस्तस्तव सखे बंधु अस्तिरंग स्मेरा त्रिभंगी साची विस्तीर्ण दृष्टि सो यस सो आई हैड वेरी ब्यूटिफुल कॉमेंट ऑन यूट्यूब बाय भक्त हैंडी एंड ही सेड दैट Uh, through his plow and club he uh, he kinds of uh, cleanses our heart and then through his flute he blows away that dust so he, he has made beautiful point that uh, um, the dust that it cleansing the dust which arises it doesn't linger for long because it gets blown away when <laughs> you write e uh, uh his flute it gets blown away so you just have to be patient with why you like and you know just just continue remembering you will feel it's monotonous in the beginning you may feel oh the same forms over and over again but you know we as devotees chant the same names over and over again for decades for our whole life same forms so the same same things we, we read 100 times chaitanya bhagavat you know uh, Hundred times, <laughs> Bhakti Siddhant said, Gaur Kishore Das Baba Ji said. So, so is it the same thing? But it's like the nectar is more and more because we and the first time, second time, third time, we don't go deeper, deeper. So it's infinite. The forms, the strokes, the shapes of the uh, Nam Akshara are uh, is uh, infinite. Paratattva uh, Akshara Akar, Paratattva Akshara Akar. It's everything is revealed. more and more and more as we meditate remember more more and more deeply we become 